Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular equation, we're going to be solving for the variable k. And k is right underneath this square root right there. So the equation is 6 minus 3 times the square root of k over 2 is equal to 5. And I'd like you to solve uh, the equation for k. Now, I'm going to be talking about two ways you could approach uh, this particular equation, and it's going to involve something called rational exponents. Okay, This is very, very important in algebra, but uh, whether you use um, rational exponents to solve this particular equation or if you solve this using probably what most people are going to do, it's perfectly fine as long as you can get the right answer. So go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second, then I'm going to fully explain how to solve this problem. And even more importantly, we're going to be talking a little bit about this bigger topic called rational exponents. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep, or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. What is k? Well, there's the equation, and k is equal to 4 over 9. Now, if you got this right, that is fantastic. Matter of fact, let's give you a nice little happy face and a plus, uh, 100%, and multiple stars. You can tell your friends and family that you know a thing or two about square roots, okay? Now, let's get into uh, what we're talking about here, right? I keep bringing up this rational exponents. Let's talk about the square root of k, okay? Now, this is the square root of k. That's a uh, perfectly um, uh, fine way to describe this. But in algebra, I want you to get uh, used to uh, looking at this symbol and thinking radical, okay? That's a radical. So this is the square root of k, but this is not the square root of k. This is the cube root of k, okay? This is the fifth root of k. So again, this uh, symbol is not just a, you know, uh, the square root symbol. It's the it's a radical. Again, and we can get into more details on what a radical is. But the main thing that I want you to know here is that for every radical, uh, you can express uh, every radical expression in terms of something called rational exponents. So the square root of k, I can write that as k to the one half power. Okay, now uh, this is an exponent, all right? This is the exponent here to this power is one half, and one half is a rational number, i.e. a fraction, okay? Now, what would be the cube root of k, all right? Well, let's just follow the pattern here. That would be k to the one third, all right? So this is radical notation, and this is rational exponent notation, okay? So you need to be able to write radicals as rational exponents, and rational exponents as radicals, okay? So we can work with both um, notation or forms, okay? It's important that you, uh, you know how to, again, work in, in both. Uh, sometimes you'll have to, uh, uh, when you're solving radical equations, more advanced uh, radical equations, you'll have to get used to working with rational exponents. Okay, so let's get into this problem now. So what are we going to do here? Well, the first order of business is to kind of get all uh, this variable right here, the square root of k, uh, all by itself on the left-hand side and all of our numbers on the right-hand side as if we were just solving. There was no radical here. There would just be a k. Okay, so hopefully you're pretty strong in basic uh, linear equations. So what are we going to do first? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is subtract 6 from both sides of the equation. Then, of course, I'm going to add down like so. It's real basic algebra stuff, right? And when we do that, we get negative 3 times the square root of k over 2 is equal to negative 1. All right, so hopefully no problem there. So uh, the next thing we want to do is recognize that negative uh, 3 uh, times the square root of k over 2 is equal to negative 1 is the same thing as uh, 3 times the square root of k over 2 is equal to 1. In other words, there's no need to continue to write uh, these uh, negative signs. We can kind of drop them away. If I divide both sides of the equation by a negative 1, it becomes positive. So anytime you can uh, just, you know, get rid of, um, you know, negative signs in this kind of situation, it would be something like this. Negative 2x would be like negative 8. Well, that's equal to 2x is equal to positive 8. Okay, so we can, you know, just, again, if you're confused about that, like, why is that 
the case, well, if you divide both sides of the equation by negative 1, you're going to get 2x is equal to positive 8. So, you know, for those of you that didn't do that and still got the right answer, that's perfectly fine. But I'm going to encourage you to, um, you know, look for these little opportunities where you can write less, just one less thing you have to write when solving an equation. Okay, so at this point, again, we need to get this square root of k uh, all by itself. So in other words, we're going for this square root of k, then we're going to have some number there. So how do I do this? Well, again, we're talking about basic algebra, okay? Uh, this would be equivalent to uh, 3x over 2 is equal to 1, all right? So if you know how to do this, then you should be able to do that. And let's go ahead and take a look at the step that we need to do. All right, so here I have this coefficient. 3 over 2, easiest way to get k by itself is just to multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal. Just flip this fraction upside down so that would be 2 thirds because when I multiply uh, 2 thirds by 3 halves, I'm going to get what? 6 over 6, which is 1, 1 k or just k, or sorry, square root of k by itself. Okay, but of course, if I multiply this left hand side by two thirds, I got to multiply this right hand side by two thirds as well. So you're going to get the square root of k is equal to two thirds, right? Two, ter two thirds times one is two thirds. Okay, so uh, hopefully uh, all of you got to this point. Now, if you didn't get to this point, you know, you just need to go back and review uh, base, probably solving basic linear equations. Okay, so I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel on solving uh, various equations, but if you need some more like kind of like a formal course of instruction, I would um, probably suggest like my Algebra 1 program uh, or my Algebra 2 program because I get into rational exponents in my Algebra 2 course, okay? All right, so square root of k is equal to 2 uh, thirds. What do we do next? Well, it all depends uh, how we want to kind of view this problem, okay? So you can view this as a, a uh, an equation with a square root or you can um, view this in terms of rational exponents. So let's take a look at both ways. So here's the square root of k is equal to 2 thirds. So how can I solve for k? Well, if I have the square root of k, what I need to do to get to k is I have to square both sides. Okay, so if I square this side and I could uh, square this side, I'm going to get k by itself, right? The square root goes away. So here, the square root of k, again, is going to be k. And this, I'm sorry, the square root, excuse me, the square. And the square of this is going to be 2 thirds times uh, 2 thirds, which, of course, is going to be 4 over 9. Now, if you decided to work in terms of rational exponents, I can look at this problem, the square root of k is equal to 2 thirds, as k to the 1 half is equal to 2 thirds. So what do I need to do here? Well, again, I want to get k by itself or k to the first power. Okay, so k to the first power is k. So here I have k to the one half power. How can I get this to a one? Well, if I'm uh, take k to the one half power and multiply by two, two times one half is going to be uh, one. All right. So whatever this fraction here, this rational expression, or sorry, this rational exponent, just flip it upside down, and that's going to be the power you have to take both sides to the equation. Okay, so here uh, you can see this is why we're going to take uh, k to the one half and raise it to the second power. But if I raise this to the second power, I've got to raise this over here to the second power. Two thirds to the second power, of course, is going to yield the same result, which is four ninths. Okay, super easy kind of um, uh, you know introductory level problem in terms of rational exponents. Huge, huge. Uh, topic in uh, algebra that you definitely need to know. So um, some of you might, you know, not have crossed this yet in terms of your curriculum or in your course, but I can guarantee you it's right around the corner. So um, again, you know, the thing when it comes to math is don't just be like, oh, I'm just going to think of this as a square root uh, equation. I'm not going to listen to that rational exponent stuff. It just seems like too much. Listen, anything I do, I put out there on my YouTube channel, I'm coming at you from um, from years and years, decades, decades <laughs> of teaching mathematics. All the stuff you're going to need to know. And anytime you um, feel like, you know what, I'm going to skip that. Uh, you know, nah, you know, I don't, I don't think I really need to know that. Listen, you got to listen to your teacher. You got to listen to how a math 
textbook generally will unfold. Everything is important and everything is kind of connected in terms of mathematics, all right? So if you know you have a particular weakness, make sure you address it, okay? It's going to pay dividends uh, big time later on down the line. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.